breaking news. The verdict is in in a shocking case of animal cruelty. Good afternoon and welcome to the KTLA News at 1 p.m. I'm Leela Feinstein. And I'm Frank Buckley. The verdict is in for a former Riverside County assistant fire chief accused of beating a puppy. KTLA's Chris Wolf uh, is live in Riverside with the decision. Chris. Frank Leela, this is where it all ends. A 30-plus year career in public safety ends in disgrace. Moments ago, former L.A. County Assistant Fire Chief Glenn Johnson was found guilty of felony animal cruelty. He now faces up to four years in prison for this crime. Let's show you some video of the chief arriving at court earlier today, just about half an hour ago. He was an hour late. I can't imagine the judge was too happy about that. Typically, our to uh, people are told to stay close to court when we know a verdict is about to come, when the jury is deliberating, but they were in Beverly Hills. It took them a long time to get here. He showed up more than an hour late for the reading of the verdict, but just moments ago, again, this jury of seven women, five men, say they found Glenn Johnson guilty of felony animal cruelty. He was also found guilty of another charge of use of a deadly weapon in commission of this crime, the use of a 12-pound rock to bash the head of this six-month-old shepherd mix, Carly. This happened in November of 2008. He says it was self-defense. He was walking the dog home after the dog got out of its owner's yard, but uh, uh, neighbors, witnesses say they saw him out of nowhere, unprovoked, start beating this dog, first with his fist, then with a rock. It was beaten so badly, fractured skull, it suffered broken teeth. The dog had to be put down later that day. He said from the beginning that this was self-defense, but the jury says, no, it wasn't. It was an unprovoked attack, an act of animal cruelty. And now, again, he faces up to four years in prison. Sentencing will be in about four weeks in March. Chief will be free on bail until that time. He has to check in with a probation office. He has to release all of his personal information. He will have an interview with a probation officer before he is sentenced in about one month. Joining me now live are the dog's owners, Carly's owners, Jeff and Shelly Tool. Come on in. Uh, as soon as the uh, as soon as the verdict was read, we heard gasps in the courtroom. What, what's going through your mind right now? We're just very happy that the stage is done. We knew all along what Glenn was guilty of. It won't bring Carly back, but justice will be served, and our family can move forward. It, it's been ten years living next to him that you said ten years of of hell, basically. It's. It's been it's definitely a nightmare. a nightmare for our family. The penalty that he gets four years, I would have served no problem had this not happened. I would do the four years myself to have this not happen. Shelly, what's going through your mind? It's very emotional, Chris. Um, the tears are of joy um, and basically a relief to have this stage over with. Thank you to Will, the district attorney. He presented a wonderful case. We knew all along he was guilty, but you have to convince 12 jurors of that. And we believe that that guilty verdict definitely was, was the truth, and, and they were right and justified to come to that verdict. And now he will be punished. Um, unfortunately, we still have to wait till March 8th, but um, we, we can move forward. Carly, this one's for you. This is for you, girl. <laughs> Brandon, come on in. This is Brandon Tool, Jeff and Shelly's son. What's going through your mind right now? I'm just happy they found him guilty, and I want to see him in jail. You want, what are Most, you waiting for now? I'm waiting for him to be punished, and nothing but jail time would satisfy me. Ideally, the max. Four years. Definitely would love to see the max. And we'll find out what happens on March 8th. 8.30 in the morning right here at the Riverside County Courthouse. Again, former L.A. County Assistant Fire Chief Glenn Johnson found guilty of felony animal cruelty. He faces up to four years in prison. Sentencing will be on March 8th. For now, reporting live in Riverside, I'm Chris Wolf. We'll have more on this all day long, all night. Back to you. Chris, so you can tell, still very uh, close to the heart after all these years. Thank you very much for that.